on Thursday night at the Pioneer Cellular Event Center in Weatherford to Southwestern. In that ball game, Southeastern shot a season low 29% for the field and went scoreless, as we told you earlier, over the last 745. And in fact, they didn't get a whole lot of production from their starters. They got 30 points from their starters. Their bench scored 17 of the 47. Savage Storm this year led, of course, by Adam Dworski, the 5'11 senior from Flower Mound, Texas, averaging 18.4 points per ball, gave it 6.3 rebounds. The following game after OBU visited Durant, he became the all-time leader in assists in Great American Conference history. He currently has seven and he or 70, and he has surpassed Micah Spate of Southern Nazarene for the all-time spot. He also is one of four Savage Storm players averaging in double figures. Vadim Clonette, a 6'8 sophomore from France, is averaging just a tick under 13 to go along with 6.3 rebounds. Bobby Johnson is a 6'3 redshirt freshman or redshirt senior from Atoka, averaging 11 and 4.3 points per ball game. Kellen Manick in two games, one start, that one start here at Shawnee, averaging 12 points and five and a half rebounds. Manick had 14.7 rebounds in 31 minutes before going out with an ankle injury here in Shawnee back on January the 7th. Overall, Southeastern averages 73. They give up 75, being outscored by minus two per ball game. OBU scoring just a tick under 73, giving up 69.3, and they are nearly three and a half points better per ball game than the opposition. The Bison this year have been led by the steady play of Harrison Stoddard, averaging 14.8 points per ball game and seven rebounds. Brantley Thompson, at this juncture of his career, right now, if the season ended, averaging a career best 14.4 points per ball game and 4.9 rebounds. Jerry S. Hicklin, who has been out the last five games with COVID, returns today. The sophomore guard from Dallas averaging 15-2 a game. And the other double-figure score for Oklahoma Baptist would be Jaquan Sims. OBU again averaging about 73 points a game. They're averaging nearly 76 during the current win streak, which will be on the line today as they look for a season series victory over Southeastern with one more game coming up in about 12 days down in Durant. We'll pause for these messages, and we'll be back with more. Coming up from the Noble Complex in a moment, this is Bison Basketball on the OBU Radio. Bison basketball statewide at the Oklahoma Baptist Bison Radio Network brought to you by the First National Bank and Trust Company, SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital, Shawnee. Shop OBUBison.com, Tinker Federal Credit Union, and P&K Equipment. Stampede donors are making a direct and tangible impact of the success of over 550 OBU student-athletes in a classroom 
in the community and on the field of competition. When you give to the Stampede, you are truly investing in champions. Learn more and sign up today at obubison.com forward slash Stampede. Have the starting lineups. We'll give those to you in just a moment. We will tell you Jerry Hicklin is expected will come off the bench. I like that decision. Obviously, he has not been in game competition for more than two weeks. And also, you still have a rhythm going right now with the five that has been starting over the last five ball games. Yeah, I, I agree with all of that. You don't want to disrupt a rotation, but a guy is talented and a staple for OBU basketball is Jarius Hicklin. That just gives you so much more depth. If somebody's cold shooting out, you, Jason Aker can go straight to Jarius Hicklin. You can have some instant offense. Harrison Stoddard against Southeastern and Durant eclipsed the 1,000 point mark. You will see it here momentarily before the tip off. They're going to give him a ball commemorating his 1,000th point at Southeastern. And I think it's really ironic. I think it's symbolic that Brantley Thompson is going to eclipse 1,000 points against Southeastern here today. Those two have been synonymous side by side for four years in turning this basketball program back around. And I'll tell you what else is nice. Kyle Hankins is in attendance today. The former OBU assistant, former East Central assistant, at the guest of Josh Davis, the assistant coach today at OBU, and there's a reason he should be here. He is an OBU guy, but you know what? He's the reason that Harrison Brantley are bison. Yeah, that guy can recruit, can he? And he helped to, helps other schools as well, just pick up good quality players. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First of all, for Southeastern, they'll start Adam Dworski, a 5'11 senior from Flower Mound, Texas, averaging 18.4 points per ball game at 6.3 rebounds. RJ Weeks will start a 6'3 redshirt senior freshman from Kingfish, uh, Kingston. He averages 9.5 points in two games with OBU, better than his 7-point-per-game average. Adam Nance, a 6'8 junior from nearby Seminole, will start. He is averaging on the season almost 7 a game, had 7 at Southwestern, but only 2.5 points in the first two meetings with OBU. Vadim Quinnett, one of the most improved players in the league, a 6'8 sophomore from France, averaging 12.9 points per ball game and 6.3 rebounds will start. And Kellen Manick makes his second start of the year, both against OBU. Manick, a 6'7 senior from nearby by Hera, averaging 12 and five and a half rebounds. Again, he had 14 and seven in 31 minutes before injuring the ankle that kept him out for an extended period of time here at the Noble Complex. Kelly Green in his 10th season, 139 and 130. Over the last three plus years, he's won 61 of 90 games. Green is 102 and 94 against common or uh, Great American Conference foes. The starters for Oklahoma Baptist head coach Jason Aker, four and three now against Southeastern. Winners of three of the last four with Kelly Green's club. Jason in his third season, 45 and 26. He'll start Jaquan Sims, a 6'4 senior from Covington, Georgia. Nigel Wilcox, a 6'5 junior from Alpharetta, Georgia. Brantley Thompson, a 6'4 senior from Tuttle. Harrison Stoddard, a 6'7 senior from Edmond North High School, and Trey Green, the 6'2 sophomore from Kingston. Let's look in now. Harrison Stoddard getting a standing ovation from what fans there are and being presented a basketball from head coach Jason Aker, commemorating his 1,000th point here at OBU. Eric says enough of that. He waves to the partisan crowd, heads off to the bench. He'll be introduced as one of the five starters. And we will be back to tip off the second game of two between front-running Oklahoma Baptist and Southeastern. It's coming up next on the Bison Radio Network. Lights have been darkened inside the double complex. The pregame hype video taking place on the video boards and 
Moments away for the introductions of Oklahoma Baptist, who has a chance perhaps to climb in with a win this week into the top six of the Central Region standings. They began the week at number eight, the third over the Great American Conference team to have been ranked. UAM was fifth, but they lost on Thursday night. Southern Arkansas, they are ranked sixth, and OBU ranked eighth again of the latest Central Region basketball rankings. Southeastern four and six, Oklahoma Baptist seven and three, seven and two in the conference. And if Southeastern does not win this ball game, and I know we still have really two more go arounds left in the conference schedule, they can all but I think forget about winning the men's division because that would put them four and a half games back of Oklahoma Baptist. And the Bison, well, they're embarking on a tough stretch with all but a couple of the next six games away from Shawnee. We'll close, we'll open you with three of their final four here in the Noble Complex. And that's pretty significant because Southeastern's very talented. I love the advancement of the sophomore, Vadim Clinet at six foot eight. He's got that inside outside game to play inside and pop it from downtown, along with Adam Dworsky. Bobby Johnson's got a great shot. Southeastern's a great team. But when you have the schedule on the West, which seems to be much more competitive than the East, some good teams aren't going to make it. I'm glad that you brought up Vladim Clinet because this guy really can play. Last year in 27 games, he averaged 1.3 points per ball game and 1.2 rebounds while shooting 26%. Vadim Clinet this year averaging almost 13 a game to go along with six, three, uh, six and a half rebounds and shooting 43%. Sometimes, and Andrea Petrarida is a little bit of an example of this on the women's team, you just need more playing time, more minutes, and then you get out there and you can certainly show what you're capable of. No doubt about it. And then that's scary with uh, Clinette. He's only a sophomore for the next couple of years with that kind of length, that kind of shooting range, and then his leaping ability inside. OBU with the home white, gold, and green. Southeast of the road, blue and gold. Savage Storm left to right, OBU right to left. Clinette will oppose. Nigel Wilcox, and here we go, the Bison. Front runners in the Western Division of the Great American Conference have controlled the opening tip. Southeastern will start in the man-to-man -man defense. Brantley Thompson guard a wing right by Bobby Johnson. Started against Medic, gets it to Sims on a give and go to Harrison, and he lays it in. Two nothing to start for the Bison. Great execution on the wheel. Stoddard with the give and go from uh, Jaquan Sims left-handed. The worst keeper of the basketball, dribble stationary, bounces it over the left wing side for Nance. It's poked out of his hands, bodies on the floor. A whistle, and I think we're going to get a foul called against OBU, or excuse me, Adam Nance. That's the first of the Savage Storm, so they turn it over a half minute deep, and it is 2-0. Kelly Green said after the loss in Weatherford, he said, we did everything you can to be a poor offensive team, couldn't make shots and turn the basketball over. Sims into the front court to Harrison Stoddard, back to Jaquan against what looks to be a 2-3 zone. Sims cross courts at Trey Green's three on the way. Good! Trey Green continues to minimize opportunities, but make the most of those opportunities as he continues to blister the Nets almost 50% from beyond the arc. How fitting for Trey Green to hit that three from the right wing. He's the one that got the steal and drew the foul. Johnson with it left wing, covered up by Trey Green. 5 to OBU, the energy good defensively. Clinette right is cut off of the block by Stoddard. Bounces it across the floor. Johnson's three rattles off. Stoddard with a rebound. Here come the Bison, leading 5 nothing with 18.42 to play in the first half. Sims with it right side, guarded by Dworski, gets a screen from Stoddard, moves left. Now to Green to the quarter to Brantley Thompson, back to Trey, one triple. Sims will put up a three, bang, he got it. Boy, that's a great side partner, Jaquan Sims, who's been in a slump, knocking down his first attempt. No doubt about it, you slump, you set it right, Todd. And if Jaquan Sims can get going, just with the other hot OBU shooters, the sky's the limit for the Bison. Ain't nothing to OBU, Dworski lobs it for Manic on the baseline, guarded by Nigel Wilcox, backing him down. The senior from Hera puts up a left-handed shot, missed everything. Quinette's follow shot is blocked down there by Stoddard. Harrison with his first block of the afternoon. He's number four all-time in Great American Conference play. Sims spins left side, gets to the top of the key, backs it out. He'll put up a long two. Bang! He got that one. Jaquan Sims with the bucket. Timeout Southeastern. 17-56 to play in the first half. They're on their feet inside the Noble. The good guys out to an 11-0 lead on the Bison Radio Network. It in for more and buy it for less. At Hudeberg Chevy in Midwest City, it's that simple. Get more money for your trade and buy new Chevys for less. And you'll get payments that fit any budget. HudebergGM.com. You can count on Hudeberg, we'll give you more. 
Trade it in for more, buy it for less. It's that easy. At Hudeberg Buick GMC in Midwest City, it's that simple. Get more money for your trade and buy new Buicks and GMCs for less. HudeberGM.com. You can count on Hudeberg, we'll give you more. Trade in for more and buy it for less. At Hudeberg Chevy in Midwest City, it's that simple. Get more money for your trade and buy new. Came back a little early on us. Bobby Johnson and a skip pass for Manic knocks down the first bucket of the afternoon. A three-pointer from wing right with 17-34 to play in the first half. It is now 11 to or make that 10-3 as they've changed the three earlier from a two. Stoddart gets a deflected pass, drives baseline, pulls up, airballed the jump shot, but right into the hands of Bobby Johnson to Daworski. Bison by seven. Johnson attacks left, is cut off by Stoddart on the block, now spins back in front of the OBU bench wing left. Bison really energized from a defensive standpoint. Definitely, and Bobby Johnson kept Southeastern in the game with his patented jump shot. He is so square to the basket. Beautiful arcing shot. Good arcing shot of the hook shot from Manick going over Stoddart in the low post. Kellen with his first basket, and all of a sudden, five straight out of the green timeout for Southeastern. What a difference when Kellen Manick shoots with his right hand. He tried the left-handed jump hook against uh, Wilcox. Jordan Thompson out there out of the break, handles it left, top of the key to green, one dribble, right side Stoddart. Into the quarter, Sims, who started two for two. Jaquan draws a double, cross courts it straight on, greens three, barely draws to the front of the rim. Dworski with the rebound. Adam, one of their better rebounders, despite being one of their smallest players in the lineup. Left quarter of the basketball, Quinette looking for Manic. Good defense by Wilcox. Nigel forces Manic out high to get the bounce pass. Kellen drives in, sets Nance up. Quarter three, no good for the right angle. Stoddart down for the rebound. Harrison, incidentally, that last block is his 128th of his career here in four years. Thompson out high, goes left side. Green, quarter left to Sims. Sims a yo-yo dribble, trying to get separation. Southeastern again to the 2-3 zone. Jordan Thompson with 12 to shoot, tries to probe his way in. Gets a deflected pass to Jaquan Sims. He'll put up a long three. That one hit the side of the rim of the rebound to Adam Nance. But, you know, that was still on line. He's just a little bit short. It's good signs of Jaquan Sims popping his first two shots, and he's just barely missing that one. Manic down low, gets it to Nance, who turns and had the shot blocked. Harrison with his second block of the ball game. Down the middle goes Thompson, and an offensive foul against Jordan. That's his first and the first against Oklahoma Baptist with 15-26 to play in the first half. Two spectacular block shots by Harrison Stoddard as Kelly Green is going big with Kellen Manick, Vadim Clonette at 6'8", and then Adam Nance. That's three of their big guys out on the floor at the same time. Graham Stiefel about to check in along with Jarius Hicklin out of the timeout. We'll keep it right here, 15-26 to play in the opening half. If you're just joining out, uh, OBU raced out to a 10-0 lead. Kelly Green then called timeout. They've scored the last five, and it seems like whatever he said in the huddle was certainly spilled over to the Savage Storm defense as well. Yeah, and it was Bobby Johnson getting that open look three that kept Southeastern in this game to make it 10-3, and then another bucket. And then, as you mentioned, that ignites the defense up a little bit higher. OBU maybe taking, not being as patient, uh, getting the best shot. How about this number? The first five games this year, Brantley Thompson shooting just 32% from three, eight of 25. His sudden white hot shooting has coincided with a six game win streak, which we told you in the pregame show was tied for the longest in the Jason Aker era here at Shawnee. Over the last five games, Brantley shooting 46% from beyond the perimeter, 17 to 37. And his current stretch of all-conference play began at Southeastern back on the 23rd of January when he scored 17. And that's exactly what you always look for. Somebody get hot and then somebody compliment him. So Brantley Thompson being red hot, as you say, or white hot, either way you want to put it, that compensated, overcompensated for the coldness of Jaquan Sims. Justin Tind is also the third new substitute out there with the floor. Adam Dworski into the front court left to right with 15-15 to play in the first half. He circles it across the top of the key. Left side to R.J. Weeks. Back to Dworski. Dworski covered up by Brantley Thompson. Tried to throw it away or nearly did. Justin Tind with the interception, but they're going to call him for a foul. So Justin Tind called for a push to the back. Gets his first. 
OBU in a 2-3 defense. Justin 10 matched up on Kellen Manick on the left side of the lane. A lot of contact in there by 10. RJ Weeks inbounds. They work it down low to Manick going against Justin 10. Manick now is doubled by Jarius Hicklin. The Weeks slides right, kicks it off of the baseline. Markeith Williams. He lobs it across the floor to Manick. Seven to shoot. Manick catches and fires a three. It's short. And Hicklin has his first rebound. Jarius into the front court. Native of Dallas, Texas, and a graduate of DeSoto High School. Back after battling COVID for five games. And away for the basketball, R.J. Weeks, I think, is going to be called for the foul, grabbing the back of Brantley Thompson's jersey. Weeks with his first, team second against Southeastern. 14-44 to play in the first half. OBU leading 10-5. You're just settling in. They raced out to a 10-0 lead. Bad inbounds pass, nearly stolen away. It was deflected by Johnson, picked up by Graham Stiefel. Stiefel with it to Hicklin, right side to Jordan Thompson. JT back to Jarius from a pass from Stiefel. Probes his way, foul line right, backs it out. JT against the zone. Seven to shoot. They reverse to Stiefel, drives baseline, pulls up, and missed everything on the jump shot. Southeast over the rebound. OBU has gone scoreless. Over the last minute and a half, it's coincided with a 5-0 Southeastern run. Out high with it is Adam Dworski. Now trying to get his way to the foul line. Does. Pitches to Manic left side against just a 10. Kellen back at his way down. 10 with good defense. Forces Manic off balance to scoop it up with the left hand, and he drops it in. Hey, you talk about dexterity. I mean, good defense by Justin 10. Manic spin pivoting up the lane, falling down. Scooping with his left hand high off the glass. And he may have got by with a step, too, and Jason Akers telling the officials about that. Thompson to Jordan Thompson. Left quarter, steeple open for three, spins out. Tim with a rebound, took it away from Manic, goes up, short arms the stick back. Had his hands on another offensive board, and Dworski has it for Southeastern. Adam speeds into the forecourt. Johnson for the tie, right circle, no good. Rebound high in the air, Jerry's Hicklin tips it, runs it down. Hicklin angles through the vice and loco center circle. Now veers to the right and comes back middle of the floor. 13-15 to play first half. OBU's lead of once 10 down to uh, three, thanks to seven straight with a savage storm. Hicklin guarded by Bobby Johnson, attacks right, goes to the goal, scoops it up at the end. Welcome back, Jarius Hicklin, and that ends a scoring drought of more than two minutes for the good guys. I'm watching Jarius Hicklin handle the ball. It doesn't look like he's missed a game. You'd think he'd come back rusty. He's getting sometimes double teamed off the dribble. He just goes all the way to the rack. I'm sure he was doing something basketball related wherever they had him stashed away for the last couple of weeks. R.J. Weeks, Manic down low underneath to Markeith Williams, lays it in. OBU wanted steps. Williams will get the bucket, and it end one. Yeah, I thought that's what the call was going to be. It was a walk, but the officials both had fists up in the air uh, signifying a foul. I think it's against Jarius Hicklin, and they're going to the scorer's table right now. Currently, it's 12-7. The basket should count, which would make it a three-point game pending Williams' free throw. Monday night for the Sawyer Center in Bethany, SNU, and Oklahoma Baptist. Gwinnett comes back in for Southeastern. Sims returns along with Harrison Stoddart and Nigel Wilcox for OBU. Yeah, Markeith Williams came from the right wing, angled into the middle of the lane, for the reception, OBU defender is just standing there, his hands up. He runs into the defender and stumbles, and the foul's called on the defender. Brantley Thompson picked up the personal foul, and apparently it did not come on the shot. It was before the shot. Southeastern will inbound. That must have been what they were discussing during that break. Adam Dworski's pass tipped by Brantley Thompson, run down by Vadim Clinetti. Attacks right, spins left, goes up, started another block shot. Clinette picks it up, just heaves it towards the goal. It barely grazes the front of the rim, and Hicklin has it. Jerry sit on the front court. Dances with the basketball, moves right of a screen against the 2 3 zone. Now they roll the screener, Stoddard. He attacks left, is cut off of the baseline. Back to Jarius, to Harrison, 15 to shoot. He cross courts it. Left to right for Brantley Thompson, who touches it into the hands of Sims. To Brantley for three. Back rims that one. It hits the back of the rim and then goes over the backboard. So possession back to Southeastern. OBU got off to that red hot start. They're now 41% shooting, 5 of 12. Southeastern just 3 of 12, yet in a two possession game. And Harrison Stoddard, three block shots early on. The first two coming against the, the big three, the three big lineup that Kelly Green put 
on the floor. R.J. Weeks with it out front. Had it knocked away from behind, but right into the hands of Clinette. Vadim working against Nigel Wilcox. Picks his dribble up, bounces it for Dworsky on the Bison logo, the O of the Bison logo. Dworsky with the play clock running down to Clinette. Swish, he got it from the left wing with two on the shot clock. That is so tough to defend. A six-foot-eight player, Clinette, on the left wing. You just cannot get that high that far out on the court. 11 and a half to play first half. It's a two-point game. The closest Southeastern has been since the first possession of the afternoon. Left side with it is Jarius Hicklin. Hicklin bounces it for Sims cutting back door. It's stolen away by Adam Dworski. He'll spin into the front court. Southeastern, another chance to retake the lead. Clinette, same spot, fires a three, same result. Nothing but net, and it is now a 13-2 Savage Storm run as they grab their first advantage of the day. Yeah, Jerry's Hicklin tried to force that ball into Sims on the nice back cut. If he's going to throw that pass past Dworski, it's got to have some pepper on it. Thompson to Stoddard, steps into a three right circle, bricks that one. OBU not even close on some of these shots. Dworski, another rebound. Southeastern by one here with the road after a 10-0 deficit to start the ball game. Under 11 to play first half. Have you ever seen a timeout stifle a red-hot offense like Kelly Green's after his 10-0? One of the best-used timeouts you'll ever see. Quinette with it, quarter right, drives in. Almost shuffled his feet, cross courts at Johnson for three, knocks that one down left quarter. Bobby Johnson with the fourth Southeastern three of the ball game. Southeastern four of eight from beyond the arc, now six of 15 from the field. They have their biggest lead of four, 16 to 12, but OBU needs to stymie the momentum right here. Southeastern can shoot the lights out of it when they move that ball around the perimeter, especially from downtown. Stoddard drives around. Clinette, who jumped out near his face, and Clinette is called for a block. His first, team third, 10.08 to play first half, and we'll get a timeout on the floor. Southeastern on a 13-2 run after trailing 10-0. Savage Storm make that a 16-2 run after trailing 10-0. Southeastern leads it by four on the OBU radio network. Noble McIntyre of McIntyre Law. We have over 100 years of experience fighting for Oklahomans injured in automobile or semi-trucking accidents. Distracted driving is an epidemic. According to government studies, there are 1.6 million accidents caused each year by distracted drivers using cell phones. One in four of all crashes now involve texting and driving. If you have been injured and want to learn more about your rights, call us right now. The consultation is free. We love what we do, and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. We can't walk in your shoes or work right beside you, but we can be here for you in money, in life. We get it. We're on this path together, you and TFCU, Tinker Federal Credit Union. Jason Aker visiting with the officials across the way during the timeout. Our officiating crew, Robert Burns, Shea Hamilton, and Drew Bontrager for this one between Southeastern and Oklahoma Baptist. Southeastern on a 16-2 run after OBU started with a 10-0 run. Bison inbound to Jordan Thompson against that active zone. Bison only two points in the last Five and a half minutes. Brantley Thompson into the paint. Pivots, gets it right side. Sims cross courts it. Stoddard into the paint to Jordan Thompson for three. It's short. Hit the side of the rim. JT follows his miss. Cross courts it for Sims. Jaquan back out front to Brantley Thompson. Thompson to Jordan Thompson. It's Stoddard left quarter three. Got it. How about the extra pass from Jordan Thompson? Oh, no doubt. And that was very important. And Jordan Thompson just barely missed a three-pointer from the left wing. He followed his shot to keep that possession alive. Jordan Thompson with his third. 33rd assist of the year. OBU pulls to within one at 16 to 15. Dworski to Clinette over Stoddard. That high arching jump shot rattles off from 24 feet. Nigel Wilcox with a rebound. He has averaged a double double in his last four starts on the glass, including back to back double doubles with 13 rebounds. Thompson to Stoddard to bounce past Wilcox left baseline. Attacking. Nigel lost the handle as he's about to go out. Gets it to Harrison, one dribble to Jordan Thompson. Shot clock at nine. Brantley straight on for three. Bang! And he's halfway home to the six he needs to join the 1,000-point club. 
huge shot by Brantley Thompson. Not much of a window against some of those taller defenders coming out to the perimeter. Brantley Thompson with a quick release on that three-pointer dead center. Brantley, the native of Tuttle, Oklahoma, with his 173rd NCAA NAIA three-pointer here at OBU. Manic bounces it back door to Weeks, who goes right at Stoddart. Stoddart didn't get the block. He altered the miss, though. Rebound to Jordan Thompson. OBU can retake the lead. Brantley to Jordan Thompson. Thompson to Brantley right side, left of the screen from Stoddart. 18 seconds to shoot. Now Brantley Thompson looks back to Justin or Jason Aker, who barks out the play. Thompson slides right, goes behind the back. Jordan from four, the paint switch. He got it. This guy's a magician with the basketball. Timeout, Southeastern. It's a 30-second timeout as OBU now has come out and scored eight straight since that 16-2 run by the Savage Storm. You talk about a magician with the basketball. Sometimes you want to go full speed to beat the defense, but in that situation with the zone where there was to find that pocket, Jordan Thompson with a quick first step right, and then he slowed up and, and had that pull-up jumper in front of the big men down low. Here's a numbers watch on Harrison Stoddart. He has five points. He now needs four to surpass Lamond Ford for 42nd all-time of the OBU career scoring chart. And he is now 14 away from Brent Jones, outstanding guard who played in the 90s here on Bison Hill for 41st. Brantley Thompson, we're on a 1,000-point watch. He has half of those on his first three-point basket of the afternoon. He needs three more for 1,000 right on the nose. It don't look like it might take Brantley towards the end of February when the season started to get over 1,000, but when you average almost 18 a game over the last five, as opposed to 11 points over the first five of your senior season, you kind of accelerate that chase. Yeah, you said average 18, but there's two of those games, Todd, where Brantley Thompson had six three-pointers. That's 18 points alone just right there, so he gets 25 every now and then. The Thompsons, Brantley and Jordan, Harrison Stoddart, Nigel Wilcox, Jaquan Sims out of the floor. Manic is out there. Jadon Slack, a freshman from Arlington, is going to come in for the first time. Bobby Johnson, Adam Daworski, and Vadim Clinette out there with the floor. OBU leads it by 4, 20 to 16. It's been a game of runs. 10 0 to OBU, then it was a 16 2 Southeastern spurt. Now the last eight scored by the Bison. Daworski. Curls across the top of the circle, bounces it for slack, left low post. Muscles up, shoots, and back rimmed it over Sims. Sims tips the rebound, Johnson steps around Jordan Thompson, trying to save it in bounds. Brantley Thompson comes over and then helps Bobby Johnson up in the spirit of sportsmanship as OBU will inbound. Edged on slack, he, first time he just gets some catches the pass. One hand just puts the shoulder down and fires it up inside the lane. A little bit long, and Jaquan Sims didn't get the handle on that rebound. 7.48 to play first half, OBU by 4.20 to 16. Jordan Thompson with it to the front court. Bison have won two straight at home, three of their first four. JT to Brantley, top of the key, who touches it back to Jordan Thompson. Slides right, start it with it out front. Right baseline, Sims drives into a double team, whips it out front. Jordan Thompson with seven to shoot, throws up a little teardrop runner, front rims it. Bobby Johnson seals away Jordan, who still almost had a chance to poke the ball free. And that was a good shot by Thompson. That ball hit the front of the rim, just tried to crawl over the top and just rolled to the left. Daworski with it out front, right side to Jadon Slack, lobs over the top, Manic Doubled right block, whips it across the floor, Johnson's three, no. Manic was over the back of the much smaller Jordan Thompson, tipped the rebound. No whistle, Sims has it. Left quarter, Brantley for three. Rattles off, no good. Rebound is tipped out, run down by Daworski. Adam back the other way, one-on-one -on -one with Sims, who blocks the shot, and then he gets the rebound. And then Jaquan trips over his own feet and cops the ball right back up. <laughs> nice. Bobby Johnson for three, quarter left, got it. Man, what a play by Jaquan Sims. I know he didn't corral that ball at the end, but Jaworski had to step on Sims. Sims knew it and just timed it right, coming from behind with the left hand to block that shot. Bison already have four blocks. They lead the conference at just under four per ball game. Out high, Jordan Thompson pierces his way, left of the paint, pivots, goes top of the circle for Jaquan Sims. Bison advantage down to one, 20 to 19. JT with a crossover dribble to Brantley, left circle. He drives, pulls up from 15, no good. Thompson is ice cold to start. He's now one of four. 
and Southeastern wipes the window clean as they have it, a chance to retake the advantage. Yeah, those are the shots that you, we've come accustomed to Brantley Thompson making. Off the dribble, going left, pulling up, rising up above the defense. Wilcox knocked away a bounce pass. Maddox gets it back to Dworski, fakes the pass, goes right down the paint and lays it in. Speaking of a magician with a basketball, Dworski is just that. His first bucket, he had single digits for the only time in his career against OBU in this building, a building where he's had a lot of success. Brantley Thompson bounces at wing left to Sims. Jaquan to Brantley. Now back to Sims for three right circle. It spins out slack with a rebound. As a freshman, Adam Dworski hit a shot from behind half court at the buzzer to send OBU to a loss here in Shawnee. And he nearly did it two years ago in Jason Aker's first season of the job here at the Noble Complex. Dworski with it right side, doubled by Brantley Thompson and Nigel Wilcox. Left side, it's Quinette. Vadim gives it back to Adam Dworski. Dworski around Stoddart, now picked up by Thompson. Swings it right. Bobby Johnson steps into a three, and he got it. This guy can shoot. He's got 12 on four three-point baskets, and he's now four of seven from beyond the arc. Of anybody in this league, Bobby Johnson gets his feet and shoulders square to the basket, and he releases the ball right at the pinnacle of his jump. Eight straight for Southeastern. Six of those are two three-point baskets by Johnson. Sims left side to Jordan Thompson with 4.45 to play first half. JT to the foul line. Gets it to Sims, Quan to Jordan for three. Got it. With a quick release, and it comes down with a lot of arc, nothing but net. Now it was a quick release, and it was important because Bobby Johnson was closing out quickly on the shorter Thompson. 4.17 to play in the first half. Both coaches up off their respective benches near midcourt. Dworski veers for the left or right side through the bison head logo. Now kicks it off of the quarter to the red hot Bobby Johnson. Back to Adam. Nine to shoot for Southeastern. Dworski is trapped. Got five of the travel, goes to Quinette, cross courts it for Johnson, and he throws it out of bounds. And that possession was in big time duress with only two to shoot. And great call by Jason Aker. Mixed it up, mixed up the defense, brought the half court pressure, forcing that long skip pass out of bounds. Thomas Sawulu, who hasn't played in a long time, is out there and returning is Trey Green as Harrison Stoddart will go to the bench along with Nigel Wilcox. So Southeastern has scored eight of the last 10 points and have a one-point lead, 24-23. Trey Green, who just reported back in, inbounds to Hicklin, who's back out there with the floor. Man, it's good to see Jarius in the lineup. Hicklin with a yo-yo dribble between the circles, gets a screen, moves left, working against Taylor Cox, pulls up from 18 and got it. <laughs> we sure this kid had been playing somewhere else for the last two weeks? He had to been, just like you said. He wasn't just sitting on the shelf. He was doing some basketball activity. 25-24, Oklahoma Baptist with 3.40 to play in the first half. Dworski around the top of the circle, left to right, crosses over, pulls up just underneath the elbow and knocks down the jump shot. And Dworski, by the last time, driving with the head fake, getting to the glass. That time, that caused the defense to lay off a little bit, and he rose up in the lane. Taylor Cox, a junior for Durant out there. He pressures the basketball. Also returned to the lineup is uh, Adam Nance. Left wing is Sims, banging his way in against Dworski, doubled now by Manic. Pivots goes to Green, top of the circle, 11 to shoot. To Brantley Thompson, he falls away on the baseline, missed the 15-footer. Sawulu had his hands on the rebound, it spiked to the floor. And Jadon Slack has it for the Savage Storm. Three minutes exactly to play, play before, uh, to go before the break, Southeastern by a point. Oklahoma Baptist now in a man-to-man -man defense. Dworski guarded by Brantley Thompson, turns the quarter, bounces it for Slack who goes up, and then he's forced to cross court it to Cox. He double dribbled. Now to Nance, left circle. Top of the key to Manic, two to shoot. Right quarter, Slack for three over Sawulu. Back rims it. Good defense by the Bison for 30 seconds, and they get the miss. And now a timeout on the floor. 2.32 to play before the break. Southeastern 26, Oklahoma Baptist 25. We're back after these messages on the Bison Radio Network. Possible to cook up the barbecue bacon burger at home? Well, that depends. Does your home have fresh chopped onions, pickles, smoked cheddar, Monterey Jack, bacon, tangy barbecue sauce? and orange and white stripes with the word Whataburger emblazoned on the front of it? If so, then absolutely. 
Good thing there's the limited time barbecue bacon burger at Whataburger. Spending life wisely means taking small steps towards a life of love and impact. And we're here to inspire and empower you along the way. Spend life wisely. First United Bank. Shirts, hats, jackets, and much more. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. In the first two wins over the Savage Storm, Oklahoma Baptist shooting 51% from the floor. Nowhere close to that. They're less than 42 in the first half, 10 of 24. Southeastern just under 39% of the first two games with the Bison. They're at 40%, 10 of 25 here late first half, and Southeastern leads by a point. Great closeout by Sawulu on the sh shot by the three-pointer at the last as the shot clock's going down to challenge that shot for the miss. Brantley Thompson with it against the zone, whips it left, and Sims was standing on the baseline. That's Hicklin, not Sims. So OBU will give it up on their fourth turnover of the first half. 2.15 to play before the break. Todd Miller, Scott Waters with you on the Bison Radio Network. OBU out of play. The game, biggest lead of 10 to start at the outset. Dworski guarded by Hicklin. Five seconds. He gets up to Clinette on the Bison logo. Now left side to Dworski. Moves right. Fires a three back. Rimmed it over the backboard. It goes in possession back to the Bison. Dworski had missed his first two shots. Then made two. He's now two for six here in the first half. Adam Dworski, an outstanding floor general here in this league. It's very rare that you see him pick his dribble up that far close to half court. Hicklin to Green, back to Jarius, guarded at the top of the zone by Dworski. They bounce it to Sims. Quan backs it out. Right side to Green, bounces it for Stoddard on the block. Harrison goes left, puts up a jump shot. It was contested from six feet. Hits softly off the hill of the rim, and Manic is there for Southeastern. Harrison Stoddard not getting his shoulder square to the basket, kind of a little jump baby hook with the left hand off the side, just kind of flat off the rim. Manic open for three. Speaking of flat, that one was short as it was challenged by Trey Green. Stoddard another rebound. Harrison here for the first half has three to go along with a couple of blocks. Hicklin with it left wing, sidesteps right to Harrison, top of the key. Now to Jerry, a slot left. One dribble, bounces at left quarter for Thompson. He'll move right to the wing. Back to Hicklin to Quan. Now to Jarius. Measures a three. Got it. Jarius Hicklin with seven. That ends another drought for the Bison. They're back at the height side by a deuce. And it's important to have Hicklin back in this game. Southeastern led for quite a substantial amount of time, up 26-25 until that big three-pointer by Hicklin. Dworski right of a manic screen. They roll Kellen right wing. Left quarter with it is Johnson. Drives, now leaves it for Quinette. Pump fakes, good defense. Quant stayed down. Quinette backs him down, one-hands it to Johnson. Right wing, he's been hot, misses that one. Start up with a rebound as we're under a half minute to go with the first half, and the shot clock is off. OBU leading by two, 28-26 here with the Noble Complex in Shawnee. Hicklin at the urging of Jason Akers sets the offense. He moves from the center to the left front court. Ten seconds to go in the half. Now the Bison go to work. Hicklin, yo-yo dribble, steps, goes up. Manic blocked the shot. Kellen with a rebound. A run out to Bobby Johnson. Two seconds, one second. He lays it up at the end. That's terrible. That is absolutely terrible. They should have never had a chance to get a bucket. Instead, we go to the locker room tied at 28. Yeah, just a little bit early on the shot, but you got to give it up to Kellen Manick. He just shut down the baseline on the left side, jumped up, blocked the shot with two hands, got it out to a streaking Bobby Johnson with a double pump layup at the buzzer. Tied at 28 at halftime. Our first half has been brought to you by the Bison Network by Sin Relief. Helping you make a difference in your community and the world around because when help and hope combine, lives are changed. Stay tuned. Our halftime show brought to you by the Hudeberg Auto Group is straight ahead on the Bison Radio Network. Get in for more and buy it for less. At Hudeberg Chevy in Midwest City, it's that simple. Get more money for your trade and buy new Chevys for less. And you'll get payments that fit any budget. HudebergGM.com. You can count on Hudeberg. We'll give you more. 
Trade it in for more, buy it for less. It's that easy. At Hewdeburg Buick GMC in Midwest City, it's that simple. Get more money for your trade and buy new Buicks and GMCs for less. HewdeburgGM.com. Makes a chicken sandwich spicy. Fiery sauces, crazy hot toppings. Nope, it's all in the marinade. The heat and the flavor must come from within. Good thing there's the new limited time spicy chicken sandwich at Whataburger. Hello everyone, welcome to tonight's halftime promotion. I've got Anna and I've got Canyon here. They're gonna participate in our Whataburger free throw challenge. So they're gonna get 30 seconds on the clock at the free throw line, shoot as many balls as they can. We've got a couple people to rebound for them and whoever makes the most is going home with a Whataburger prize pack. All right, Anna, Canyon, y'all ready? Yes, sir. Let's go get at the free throw line. Go ahead, hit your spots. All right, on my mark, we'll start that countdown. Canyon, Anna, are you ready? Set, go. Let's see it. Is that one over there? I think Anna's got one. Canyon's got one. Anna's got two. Canyon, still at one. That's okay. And we're tied up at two. No longer, three to two. Three to two, Anna, five seconds. Can Canyon make up for it right here? Oh! We got a tie, that was a close one, two to two. All right, well, for a tie, I guess that means we gotta do a little sudden death. So we are gonna do sudden death. That means whoever makes a free throw first is going home with the Whataburger prize pack. Everybody good, Anna, Canyon, y'all good? Okay, well, ready, set, go. Who makes one first? Okay, we had two rough looking shots. That's okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, we're back. Let's go, here we go. Who's gonna make the first one? Close. You can tell the pressure has gotten to him. The pressure has gotten to both contestants here. Oh, Anna, in and out. Canyon for the win, he nets it. Nicely done. That was fun. Good job, y'all. Good job, Canyon. You're going home with the Whataburger prize pack. Anna, we'll send you home with the OVU prize pack. Thank you for playing today. Fans, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Let me tell you a story. A story about a woman who walks miles to carry undrinkable water to her family. Let me tell you about the water. Water everywhere, but not a drop to drink after a hurricane. I'll tell you about people, millions of people, who find themselves in a strange land far, far away. And I'll tell you a story about a farmer whose family and finances are being starved by drought. And how, on the other side of the world, there is a family starving for nutrients in a food desert. I'll tell you the tale of a traffic teenager waiting to be assaulted again tonight, and again, and again and how once upon a time there was a child who would go to sleep without a bedtime story because that child didn't have someone to read them a bedtime story it wasn't just once upon a time it was hundreds of thousands and even millions upon a time but that's not where the story has to end together as southern baptists we can rewrite the story Together, we can become an unstoppable force of hope. Together, we can respond. Together, we can meet needs across the globe. Together, we can change lives in our own communities. Together, we are Send Relief. Inside the Noble Complex in Shawnee, Oklahoma Baptist University in a deadlock with Southeastern 28-28 in the men's nightcap. Individually for the Savage Storm, Adam Nance, 0 of 2 from the field. He misses only three-point attempt. He has no points but two rebounds. But Adam Nance, one of those big three that 
Kelly Green puts on the floor along with Kellen Manick and six foot eight Vadim Clinette. They had all three on the floor starting big early in the game. Clinette, two of six from the field, but he's two for three from downtown. He has six points, two rebounds. Kellen Manick back after an injury in his second game back. He's two for five from the field, missed both of his three. He has five rebounds, three assists. Bobby Johnson, red hot shooter for the Savage Storm. He's five of nine from the field, 14 points, two rebounds. That rounds out to 28 points. Harrison Stock with three block shots early in the game, two of them on Southeastern's big men. He's two for five from the field, one for two from beyond the arc. He has five points, four rebounds, and of course, the three block shots. Jaquan Sims, who's been cold as of late, not tonight, early in the game, he hits his first two shots. Uh, two for four, he's one for three from downtown. Five total points, three rebounds. Brantley Thompson, one of five from the field, one of three from downtown. He has three points. Trey Green, one of two from the field. Those were all both threes. He has three points. Jordan Thompson, two for four from the field, one for two from beyond the arc. He has five points, three rebounds. Jerry's Hicklin back after a multiple week absence with an illness. He's three for four from the field. Big spark off the bench, one for one. From downtown, has seven points, three rebounds. That rounds out the 28 points scoring for Oklahoma Baptist. Today's halftime show is brought to you by the Hudeberg Auto Group. Visit Hudeberg.com to browse their selection of over 1,000 new and used vehicles. This is Bison Basketball on the OBU Radio Network. Welcome back to Oklahoma Baptist University. Southeastern Oklahoma in the men's game, all locked up with OBU, 28-28 inside the Noble Complex. OBU started out this contest red hot at a 10-0 run. Southeastern head coach Kelly Green takes a timeout, and that seemed to stifle OBU's run right there as now we're all even at 28. The biggest lead of the game was that 10-point lead for OBU. That was with 17.59 left before intermission. Southeastern's biggest lead was four at the 10.34 mark. The best scoring run of the game, that was Oklahoma Baptist 10. The best scoring run for Southeastern was a 9-0 run at that 10.34 mark for their biggest lead of four points. The lead has changed six times. Game's been tied once. Oklahoma Baptist holds a 12-minute 47-second to 6-minute 59-second advantage in the time with the lead. Points from turnovers, Oklahoma Baptist behind five to six there, points in the paint. Southeastern leads 10 to six. Second chance points, Oklahoma Baptist three, Southeastern zero, fast break points, Southeastern eight, Oklahoma Baptist two, and points off the bench, Oklahoma Baptist with a considerable 12-0 advantage. Let's step aside for stations for a chance to identify themselves on the Bison Radio Network. Welcome back here to the Noble Complex. Southeastern all locked up with Oklahoma Baptist, 28-28. First half field goal shooting for Southeastern, 11 of 29 from the field for 38%, 6 of 16 from downtown, 37.5%. The Savage Storm did not shoot a free throw in this game. For Oklahoma Baptist, 11 of 27 from the field, 41%. 
6 of 14 from beyond the arc, 42.9%. And Oklahoma Baptist has not shot a free throw in this contest. Oklahoma Baptist tied with Southeastern inside the Noble Complex, 28-28. Today's halftime show is brought to you by the Hudeberg Auto Group. Visit Hudeberg.com to browse their selection of over 1,000 new and used vehicles. This is Bison Basketball on the OBU Radio Network. in an all season on the Bison Radio Network presented by SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital, Shawnee, where they compassionately serve the health care needs of Shawnee and its surrounding communities. We're known for providing exceptional care and offering the latest advances in medical services. Monday night, it's back of the road. 5.15 our network pregame show ahead of a 5.30 women's tip-off. OBU at Southern Nazarene. And then next Thursday night, back home for another tough tangle with the Tigers from East Central and Ada. That'll be another 5.30 and 7.30 tip-off in a week from today. We will be back in Weatherford to take on Southwestern. Today's halftime show has been brought to you by the Hudeberg Auto Group. Visit Hudeberg.com to browse their selection of more than 1,000 new and used vehicles. We are deadlocked at 28th, the second half of the Bison and Savage Storm. Coming up next on the OBU Radio Network. Ready to start the second half. Deadlocked at 28 after 20 minutes of this 40-minute battle. Southeastern will start the way they begin the basketball game. Dworsky, Nance, Weeks, Clinette, and Kellen Manick. OBU will begin the second half with their original five of Sims, Wilcox, Brantley, Thompson, Harrison, Stoddard, and Trey Green. Southeastern will go from right to left across your radio dial here in the second half, and they will... Have the basketballs. They'll trigger it inbounds. Bobby Johnson with the team in game high 14 on four three-point made baskets in the first half. Gets it to Dworsky. Right quarter to Johnson out there with him, Jaquan Sims. Bobby moves left, pulls up slot right. Gets it way up right front court for Dworsky. He'll attack. Brantley cuts him off. Not a medic top of the key against Nigel Wilcox. He takes him off the dribble. Throws it up and crawls across the front of the rim and drops down. 
That was that, just being physical on the part of Kellen Manning. Oh, he's just so strong. He might have got away with leading with that shoulder a little bit into Wilcox, but it's a good job by the officials let him play. 30 to 28. This game has been really well officiated. Brantley Thompson kicks it out. Sims, corner three, left is good. Jaquan with his second three-point basket has eight, and it's good to see Sims shooting the basketball better. With that, he's now two of four from three and three of five shooting. Steps into it from the left side. Nice pass by Brantley Thompson. I thought he was going to go up with it in the lane, but he saw a wide open Sims, two-handed overhead pass out to the left wing. 31-30 over Euclidette against Wilcox. Instigates the contact, drop steps, lays it in, and they're going to call a travel against Vadim Quinette, and they almost could have called an offensive foul. He dipped that shoulder. I think that's a great call. Nigel Wilcox staying with him. Quinette had to pump fake, knowing the leaping ability of Wilcox, and finally he spin pivoted so much he lost, lost his pivot foot. Sims to Brantley for three and 1,000. It's off the mark, though. Good. Nigel runs it down. Wilcox resets right quarter, drives against Manick, pushes off and throws it down, but no basket. They're going to call an offensive foul against Nigel Wilcox, and that's the right call. He instigated the contact with Kellen Manick. Well, I tell you, Kellen Manick did a good job of backing off like a big acting job there. A little bit, he did move his left arm up and for the two-handed dunk, but, man, it's hard to move Kellen Manick. How consistent has this game been officiated, Scott? Neither team has shot a free throw, and we're 90 seconds deep into the second half. I know. I was reading the stats at halftime. I could not believe it's been 0-0. That's how talented both these teams are and a well-officiated game. Jaworski into the paint, kicks it out. Manick for the lead. Got it, right circle. Kellen Manick now with nine points. Man, this thing is like riding a seesaw. Back and forth, 33-31 Southeastern. Kellen Manick drilled that three-pointer. He's six foot five, powerful inside. He's 0 for 2 earlier. That's really where the Bison want him to shoot the ball. Wilcox to Brantley, back to Nigel, and he lays it in. How about that high-low screen and roll action? That is outstanding pass by Thompson again with the lead, and, of course, the receiver, Nigel Wilcox, goes and gets everything. He just tells Brantley throughout the contest, just throw it up, I'll go get it. Nigel had nine at Northwestern. He's averaged eight against Southeastern. His first bucket, Clinet to Nance down. Low it rolls off the rim, and then a late whistle, and I think they've got Trey Green for the foul, that's going to be the sophomore's first personal foul. And Adam Nance is going to go to the free throw line. He is a native of nearby Seminole. Adam Nance at the line is 62 and a half percent Southeastern, averaging just under 11 makes per ball game and only 63 and a half percent foul shooting as a team. 31-30 Oklahoma Baptist, early second half. Nance clean to the first free throw. And, of I'm, course, he's clean to the first free throw. <laughs> I'm perplexed that Trey Green fouled on that because I thought Nigel Wilcox had that rebound secured there. Kind of a late whistle on that foul, too. Second one is up, and that one is good. Adam Nance gives Southeastern back the advantage. 17-28 to play, second half. Jaquan Sims drives baseline, one hands it in the corner to Green. To Thompson out high, turns to the three drives. Now to Stoddart for three in the lead, missed that one long. Quinnett down for the rebound. Southeastern leads it 35-33 with 17-11 to play in the second half. Jaworski around a manic rub out high. Now ventures back left against Green, pulls up underneath the foul line. To Quinnett, sets him up for three. It's short straight on for the nail. Nigel with a rebound. Wilcox outlets to Quan. Sims with a basketball with under 17 to play here in the ball game. 35-33 Southeastern. Wing left with it is Brantley Thompson. Out high to Stoddart. Stoddart imposes his way to the rim. Shoots high off the glass and missed it. He's frustrated. He thought there was a lot of contact and no foul. Johnson out of the pack with a rebound. I yeah. think the score is actually wrong. I think it's tied at 33. They have 35-33 Southeastern of the board. Dvorsky right side. There were some stats incorrect at Northwestern Thursday night, too. How about Nance getting rejected on a one-handed flash going down the hit rim, and he blocked himself. <laughs> Brantley for three. Got it! Brantley Thompson, welcome to history. 1,000 points in his career here on Bison Hill, the 50th member to do it at OBU. And that was one of those three-pointers where Brantley Thompson got to set up, step into it where he doesn't have to have that quick release. A lot easier for him. 36-33, how about that five-point swing? Dworski drives baseline left, is cut off of the block by Brantley Thompson. Now to Bobby Johnson. Johnson with a basketball, curls right up a screen, shoots over Green, who challenged it. The shot was short off the front rim, and Sims has it. Bison lead it. 
five is the score. Stoddard for three left. So Harrison with eight in the Bison. Getting hot from long distance early in the second half. Lead it by four. Nice follow through by Harrison Stoddard. Bobby Johnson missed that short jumper. That time he looked like he was shooting the ball on the way down. Mostly he shoots that at the pinnacle of his jump. OBU eight of 18 shooting from long distance. They're two of four here with the second half. Daworski's backed out for the right block. Works wing left, now slides left. Down the paint to Manic, top of the circle against Nigel Wilcox. To Johnson, moves left, fires a long two, no good. And Stoddard's down for the rebound. OBU leading 39-35 with the basketball with 17 or 15.02 to play in the second half. Sims veers right. Thompson, who just moments ago went into the 1,000-point scoring club here at OBU, gives it to Sims left wing, spins, puts it up, and in. Oh. Between the Giants, Jaquan Sims dribbling left right towards the goal. Almost a 360 spin, one-handed jumper. Timeout called by Southeastern. 14-44 to play, second half. Oklahoma Baptist leads. Back in a moment of the Bison Radio Network. What is the score? Ever wonder where the capital A and Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A, top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. A is for above and beyond. An extra level of care. A game. From caring for our guests in our community to cleanliness and safe service with a my pleasure. A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. A little funky dance. And that too. Noble McIntyre of McIntyre Law. We have over 100 years of experience fighting for Oklahomans injured in automobile or semi-trucking accidents. Distracted driving is an epidemic. According to government studies, there are 1.6 million accidents caused each year by distracted drivers using cell phones. One in four of all crashes now involve texting and driving. If you have been injured and want to learn more about your rights, call us right now. The consultation is free. We love what we do and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. Locations and see why around here John Deere starts with PK. This year, Tinker Federal Credit Union is seven, celebrating 75 years of TFC and you, helping members achieve their goals and realize their dreams since 1946. OBU with a six point lead, 41 35. They have just announced to the crowd 1,000 points in his career. Tell you what, there are no words for me to describe how much I love that kid. He is just a model, model student athlete, and his parents are sitting right down below us, and now they're happy here to be here and watch this occasion. Clinette with it right side, down to Manic to Vadim in the paint, spins, draws a double cross court to Johnson for three. Boy, they needed that. Get it into the hands of Bobby Johnson, who's got five triples today at 17. Trey Green closed out on Bobby Johnson to the right corner, but didn't get enough elevation as Johnson got a real good look. Jarius Hicklin back out there, right of a Nigel Wilcox screen, goes down the paint, throws it up off balance, and missed it. Johnson with a rebound to Daworski. Southeastern down three with the basketball. Adam to Manic, top of the circle for the tie, and he nailed it. Okay, that's where it really hurts you, Southeastern. If Kellen Manick gets hot, he's got the inside-outside game with all that strength inside. That's two three-pointers in a row for Kellen Manick. Yeah, and he's already got eight of his 12 here early in the second half with 13.46 to play in the ball game. Just like that out of the timeout, it's a 6-0 run. Hicklin down the paint, pulls up from six, got it, nothing but net. How about the shot making of this ball game right now? Oh, it's just top-notch back. 341 Bison, left side Daworski on the wing. Johnson quickly up there on him as Jordan Thompson, who checked in during the last stoppage. Back to Daworski, who pats the top of his head. Brantley Thompson is out there with Adam. Slides left, reverses right around a manic screen. It's cut off with the L. Hit the window and then spun out hard, and Nigel Wilcox with a rebound. Manic hit an earlier circus shot, if you remember that long. Yep. Pivot away outside the left block with that long scoop with the left hand falling down. OBU's biggest lead has been 10. Southeastern's biggest lead, 4. OBU led a moment ago by 6. They have it leading by a bucket. Hicklin with it to Brantley. Right wing for 3. Got it! Brantley Thompson started to get going now. He's got two of his three here in the second half, and the lead just like that stretched back to five. Brantley Thompson recognized that from the right wing that Kellen Manick was closing out on him. Going to be there a little bit slower, so he had a little bit more time to shoot. The Worski down the paint, lays it in, and no bucket. They're going to call an offensive foul, and I think it's against – it's either against Quinette 
or Johnson. It's on Vadim, and he does not really know what he did. That's his second and the gates a basket, and we'll go to the timeout with OBU leading by five, 46 to 41. Timeout, 12.32 to play, second half. This is Bison Basketball on the OBU Radio Network. Possible to cook up the barbecue bacon burger at home? Well, that depends. Does your home have fresh chopped onions, pickles, smoked cheddar, Monterey Jack, bacon, tangy barbecue sauce, and orange and white stripes with the word Whataburger emblazoned on the front of it? If so, then absolutely. Good thing there's the limited time barbecue bacon burger at Whataburger. Who do we look to to shape our world? It'll be people who know how to think with their heads and their hearts. People who understand that faith is not the enemy of education, but its partner. More than book smart, more than business smart, they are wise in their whole being. We are future shapers. Learn to live well and lead well in God's world. Be a future shaper at OBU. Second half of Bison Basketball presented by OBU alumna Stobel McIntyre and his team of dedicated and effective personal entry attorneys at McIntyre Law. Brantley Thompson, Jarius Hicklin, Jordan Thompson, Jaquan Sims, and Harrison started on the floor. Three 1,000-point career scores at the collegiate level right now for Jason Akers Club on the lineup. That's just a tribute to the program here at Oklahoma Bay. Of course, over 700 of uh, Sims came at Limestone College, but he's over 500 now here in his second year at OBU. Stoddard with it, foul line left. That's uh, Brantley. Takes a dribble, cross courts at three of the way, and good. Sims got another one. Jaquan Sims rapidly closing on, in on 1,300 career points, and the Bison lead at 49-48, or 49-41. Perfect pass by Brantley Thompson. He caught it with one hand and is falling back with two hands right in the bread basket, making it easier in rhythm for Sims to make that three. Jadon Slack out there out of the break to Bobby Johnson. Whips it right to Slack, seven to shoot. Back to Johnson with 11.45 to play. Johnson calls for a screen, gets it from Williams, steps inside the arc, missed it. Hicklin down for the rebound. Jerry is playing well in return after five game absence. Goes right down MacArthur Avenue and misses the layup. Slack with a rebound. That, that was would a have nice pushed move. the lead to double digits. Yeah. Quarter three is good by Clinet. There's a five point turnaround. Vadim, a tough shooting day, though, has three trays. Well, Hicklin did a great job. He went fast up past the top of the key, got to the middle of the lane, slowed up, let the defense go by, then up and over and just off the rim with the miss. Clinet, three of eight shooting. He's three of five from three point range. Jordan Thompson to Brantley out front, cross courts at right side. Hicklin fumbles it, gets it back, tries to drive. Clinet cuts him off. Jordan Thompson reverses left side. Sims probes his way in, backs it out. Shot was halfway down, spun out. And the rebound to Southeastern. Here they come, down by five. The Worski attacks, goes right at Jordan Thompson, who fouled him on the floor. And that'll be the first on Jordan Thompson. Make that the second on JT. Yeah, Jordan Thompson bumped uh, Dworski a couple times. That second and third bump, then Robert Burns is going to call that foul. Time out on the floor with 10.48 to play in the second half. Oklahoma Baptist leads Southeastern by four. Make that five, 49-44 on the Bison Radio Network. Attorney Jordan Klinger at McIntyre Law. Recently, the FDA requested manufacturers withdraw ranitidine drugs commonly known as Zantac. Zantac has been found to potentially cause cancer in the bladder, colon, throat, nasal cavity, kidneys, liver, lungs, pancreas, prostate, stomach, and testicular cancer. If you have taken Zantac, you may be entitled to compensation. Call us at 405-917-5200 or visit us online at McIntyreLaw.com. Download our makes a chicken sandwich spicy fiery sauces crazy hot toppings nope it's all in the marinade the heat and the flavor must come from within good thing there's the new limited time spicy chicken sandwich at whataburger
Bison lead it by five, 49-44 with rivalry night looming in 48 hours in Bethany at the Sawyer Center. OBU, of course, a miserable last trip to Bethany. This team, though, looking to head in with a full steam of momentum as they are looking for their seventh consecutive win. You know, if you look at what Jason Aker has done since he's been here at Shawnee, his teams have had at least a four-game win streak in each of his first three years in the month of February. Last year, they had a six-game win streak in February. They have one mid to late January to early February this year. And you remember that win streak in February last year was like one-point games to the yeah. wire, finding ways to win. Manic challenged, air balls the hook shot from in front of the rim, middle of the paint. Johnson with the rebound, dribbles out now to Clinette. Shot clock obviously did not reset. It's at seven. Adam Dworski trying to turn the quarter right, accelerates around Thompson, fall away, jump shot. It's good. That is an incredible shot by an incredible player. Oh, yes, and great, great foot. I don't know if it was great footwork, but he got around the defense, one-footed jump shot on the right baseline, falling to the ground. 49-46, Jordan to Harrison down low, and Stoddart lays it in. Just like that, OBU gets the bucket back. 51-46, Clinette on a run out, goes on a Euro step, back door and lays it in. Clinette saw Brantley closing in on him, so he had to do that fancy move, double pump, reverse layup to avoid the block. Under 10 minutes to play of the ball game. You knew OBU was going to get a good showing from Southeastern today after a dreadful second half at Southwestern for the Savage Storm on Thursday. Jordan Thompson dribbling around out front. Jump passes right side to Sims. Five to shoot. Jaquan's trap. Gets it to Stoddart straight on for three. No good. And Slack has the rebound. Southeastern did a good job sealing for the rebound. Yeah, great job by Southeastern, but Jordan Thompson dribbled so much out there just right of the key that the defense did not have to move, so Southeastern was collapsed the entire time. 51-48, the tie on the way. No good by Clinette right wing. Brantley Thompson down for the rebound. I'm having trouble with the scores because where we sit, we can't really see the scores on either end, and the live stats right now are way behind. Jordan Thompson with it out front. Lobs it to Nigel Wilcox. Hands it to Brantley Thompson. One dribble right side to Sims. Down the paint. Gets a deflected patch to Wilcox. In the corner, it's Jordan Thompson for three. It rattles off. Slack juggles the rebound. Manic dives. Gets the possession. Great hustle by Kellen Manic. Timeout, Savage Storm. That ball looked like it was headed right for OBU's possession, and Kellen Manic dove all six, seven of him and was able to get the ball in his possession to get the timeout, called before the Bison could get it tied up. And it was Kellen Manick that made that timeout. It was not Kelly Green. Manick got the ball, rolled over away from the Bison defender where he could, they couldn't tie the ball up. Kellen Manick has 12 points. That's what he averages. He had 14 in 31 minutes here when these two teams played on January the 7th, and then he did not return to action after until Thursday night. 51-48, Bison lead according to the scoreboard that's blocked by these hanging goals at the top of the ceiling up here. <laughs> it's tough, but as long as the live stats update in pretty good time, you're okay. But on the live stats, at least on my computer, it's still showing 49-44. What a battle this has been. And again, you knew Southeastern would give OBU a good shot. This is a prideful program that is what a lot of games. The prior three years, Kelly Green has led his team to wins in 61 of 91 games. They've won postseason contests. They've been ranked nationally. They lose the great Kevin Buckingham, and it's with injuries slowed them down just a little bit, but they look like they're starting to hit their stride. I think uh, Kellen Mannix giving them a big boost, too. Those two three-pointers, when that 6'7 guy stretches out, because you already have Clonette out there shooting, then Bobby Johnson's hot. you got a great offensive team in the Crimson Storm, not the Crimson Storm, the Savage Storm. Bobby Johnson has 17 points, four rebounds, a re an assist, and a steal in 28 minutes. He's 6 of 13 for the field, 5 of 10 from three-point range. Jordan and Brantley Thompson, Nigel Wilcox, Harrison Stunner, Jaquan Sims out of the floor. And that's been the lineup pretty much, Scott, with 8.51 to go in the final half that Jason has rode with since halftime. Yeah, he had Jerry Hicklin in there just not too long ago, but Jordan Thompson, such an astute freshman, all his playing ability, his ball handling ability, shooting, passing, he, he does it all as a freshman. Johnson will inbound and Dworski will walk it across midcourt. 
working in the high right front court. Now to Clinette to block for Johnson. He backs it out to Dvorsky. 12 to shoot for the Savage Storm. Manic against Wilcox right side. Hands it off to Johnson. It goes down the paint and banks it. A runner, he's got 19. That was a high level of difficulty shot because especially with the shot blocker, Nigel Wilcox, all over Bobby Johnson coming across the lane with the runner off the glass. 51-50, Jordan Thompson left wing to Sims to start it down low to Brantley on the block against Jadon Slack. Brantley backing his way down, now doubled by Manick. Cross courts it to Jordan Thompson right side. Nine to shoot. Thompson almost lost it off of his hip. Gets it to Brantley Thompson. It goes down the paint. Finger rolls it up and in, and Brantley has another double-figure game. He has 11. What a move by Brantley Thompson. He's just outside the arc on the right side, dribbles left through the defense, switches hands back to the right hand off the glass. Down the paint goes to Worski. Spins in against Thompson, who forces into a tough shot. Adam then tips the rebound to Stoddard. Up the head to Jordan Thompson, who will slow it down the front of the Bison bench. Incidentally, today is game number 100 for both Harrison and Brantley on their careers at OBU. Stoddard down the paint, throws up a little floater. He back rims it, and down it goes. And just like that, OBU is answered as they pulled back to with, uh, out by five. Yeah, hit way back on the top of the rim, hit the backboard, and fell in. But sometimes when you have that soft touch, going in there that you give you a better chance to get the roll. 55-50, Dworski looking for slack. It had it pass stowing away from Johnson, but Jordan Thompson was standing to the sideline. And we'll get a timeout. The under eight media timeout comes with 7.13 to play. OBU 55, Southeastern 50. Welcome to another afternoon of Great American Conference basketball. Boy, it is, it is outstanding. In case you did not see it, it was announced yesterday that the NCAA for this year and this year only have reshuffled regional play. In past years, the Great American Conference has been paired with representatives for the MIAA and the Northern Sun. That will not happen this year. In fact, it will be the Great American Conference and the Lone Star Conference in NCAA regional play coming up in March. Again, that is a change for one year and one year only here in 2021. I don't know if that's easier or not when you have West Texas out in the canyon. Guys, some kind of in the country. They're really good. You know, I wouldn't mind seeing them again, though. I mean, on a neutral floor. And I don't know that they're going to have on-campus sites. I'm not certain about that. But, yeah, I don't want to go back to canyon. Yeah. But you take your chance, I suppose, with them on a neutral floor. I said this. I'll repeat it again today. Brantley Thompson and Harrison Stoddard's 100th game as Bison. Both who have been forever linked to the rebuild of Bison basketball have gone over 1,000 points and both have done it against Southeastern Thompson today. Harrison Stoddard last month down to Durant. The Bison, before this recent run, had lost nine of their first 10 Division II meetings with the Savage Storm. They're 2 0 this season. They've won three straight and trying to make it four in a row. But some work to do, leading by five with just over seven to play. Tie back in, Dvorsky with the basketball. Dribbles around Thompson, double clutches and lays it in. Dvorsky did an outstanding job using his teammates as picks. Kind of like weaved around, had two different Southeastern players that he rubbed off of to get that layup off. One possession game, 55-52 with 6.50 to play. Jordan Thompson out high, doing a lot of dribbling to Brantley straight on. In and out it goes. Stoddard at his hands and now rips the rebound away. Gets it to Sims, quarter three, no good, but Jaquan is knocked down and fouled by Adam Dworski. Wow, Sims almost had a four-pointer there. That ball was from the left corner down again, as you say, like halfway down and out. Jaquan Sims will go to the free throw line. Quan is 76% this year, 19 of 25 for the stripe. And with 6.41 to play, this will be the first free throws of the day for the Bison, who are just under 69%. Sims hits the first of three. He has 14 points. Jaquan scores like this, and he's capable of doing it going forward. This is going to be an awfully tough out. Sims two of two. And this to point, make the lead six if he could hit the free throw, and he back rims it. Stoddard, who kept that last possession alive, unable to climb the back. Bison lead it by five here in Shawnee. Dworski moves left, slack pump fakes, and 
Sims comes down on him and commits a foul. Jaquan Sims came from underneath the goal, full speed against Markeith Williams. Thought Williams was going to put up that three. He wanted that block shot so bad. Williams just pump faked. You might as well put a saddle on Williams for Jaquan Sims. Sims will check out. Coming in is Hicklin. Trey Green replaces Jordan Tops at OBU, leads it 57 to 52 with 6.23 to play. On an afternoon in which Brantley Thompson has eclipsed 1,000 points. Needed six, he has 11. Dworski into the front court to Slack. He'll put up another three. That one is no good. And the rebound in the far corner to Wilcox. He flips it to Stoddart to Brantley Thompson. Now to Hicklin. They'll clear it into the front court. We're under six minutes to go. Coming down the stretch, OBU leads it by five. 57 to 52, as one dog would say, down the stretch they come. <laughs> Harrison Stoddard with a great seal on Clinette for that rebound. Hicklin, one hands a bounce pass to Stoddard out front, back to Jarius. Harrison sets a screen. Now they hedge. Clinette pressures the basketball, four to shoot. Jarius for three. No good. Brantley Thompson tips the rebound. Wilcox had it. It's poked away from him by Slack, right into the arms of a teammate. Dworski to Johnson into the front court. Five and a half to play. Manic drives, bounces down left. Clinet gets two defenders in the air, and Wilcox from behind blocked the shot. Man, oh, Wilcox already chased the ball down in the left corner, and you expect that out of the guards, but a post player with a quick feed and the quick elevation. Hicklin to Green between the center circles, lobs it to Stoddart left side against Clinet in the man-to-man -man southeastern defense. Hicklin to Thompson, and it's poked away, but a foul against Bobby Johnson. I'll be truthful. I didn't see a whole lot of contact. Looked like he had knocked it away from Brantley clean. It may have been because he was from behind. Well, and I Brantley Thompson using his body correctly. He had a seal like he was posting up, keeping Johnson on his back, reaching for that uh, pass, and then Johnson went through him. Third foul of the second half against Sa the Savage Storm. Brantley gets a lob pass out high. Thompson with it to Jarius Hicklin. 14 to shoot for OBU. Hicklin between the center circles. Moves left. 10 now to shoot and under five to play. Bison leading by... 5, 57 to 52. Thompson with it getting deep of the shot clock. Drives, goes to Stoddart, quarter left. Air ball the jump shot, and it's out of bounds. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Green last touched it, but it would have been a shot clock violation. 57-52 on the board, Bison. How about this today? Five turnovers for Oklahoma Baptist, four for Southeastern. Points off turnovers, 9 to 8. I can remember after the win at Southwestern. Jason Aker was wanting to get a game. He said, well, I don't know if we're going to. If we don't, we're going back. Just defense on both sides of the ball. You'd expect more turnovers just by the hard defense that you got to go against. The Worski left to right underneath the basket. Bounces it for Manic out high against Wilcox. Bangs his way to the goal. Missed it. Johnson's tip offline. Hicklin with a rebound. Jarius into the front court. OBU holding Southeastern to 52 points to this point in the game. As Hicklin went to the floor, he got his feet tied up, loses the handle, and he'll be helped up. Well, that was an inadvertent trip by Adam Dworski, and there's no call there. There's no way that Hicklin went to the floor. I seen Dworski come up on the right side of Hicklin, and his left foot clipped heels. Hicklin is out, returning in his Harrison Stoddard. Jaquan Sims also out there. OBU is shooting almost 53% of the second half, and yet they've really had little separation from Southeastern. Only outscored them by five to this point after the game was tied at 28 at halftime. 4.05 to play in the ball game. Bison 57, Southeastern 52. Manic out high and a foul call. They've got Markeith Williams for an illegal screen, and Markeith was again very demonstrative after the foul was called. And this is crunch time, Todd. The last four minutes again, Bison up by five. Four minutes, 57 of 52, Oklahoma Baptist. In a struggle to keep their win streak intact, it would be seven in a row and the longest in the Jason Aker era. Brantley Thompson spins left side. Wilcox head of the circle. Right side starter guarded by Clinette. Loops it to Brantley, working against Johnson on the right block. Now he turns, squares up, knocks down the jumper cleanly. Brantley was begging for that basketball. That was an outstanding shot by Brantley Thompson because Thompson was looking to go to the middle, but Kellen Manick came over and help. He was going to swipe that shot, so Thompson reverse pivoted on the right baseline turnaround jumper. 59-52, Dworski turns the corner, pulls up. 15-footer hits softly off the rim, Stoddard lost the rebound. Wilcox has it for the bison. Into the front court to Sims being ridden by Dworski. Now he crosses over to Harrison. Wide open for three. In and out from the left circle. Claudette heavyweight with it.
by Jaquan Sims. Out top with it is Clinette. Working against Green. Goes all the way to the goal. Lays it up. Missed everything. Well defended by Trey Green and Sims with a rebound. And at the other end, Jason Aker wants a timeout. Timeout with 2.56 to play. OBU leads by 7, 59 to 52. Southeastern shooting 43% of the second half and 40% for the afternoon. This is the 10th league game for the Bison. Of the prior nine, they have outshot their opponents eight times. The lone exception was Southwestern. The Bison ended up winning that game. OBU making some big shots, just like we talked about Brantley Thompson down there on the right baseline with that turnaround jumper to the right side where only Bobby Johnson could defend, where Kellen Manick had to back off. Those are clutch shots. The Bison, I bet you Jason Aker here probably tries to run off some clock here up by seven and then get a good shot off a screen here. Just a score update, 21 seconds to go. A central leading Southwestern in Ada, 71 to 68. So OBU could pick up a, another game on Southwestern, the second place team in the conference standings if the current scores hold up. Bison basketball brought to you by the banking team you can count on. The First National Bank and Trust Company talk to us first. By P&K Equipment, Tinker Federal Credit Union, and you can show your OBU spirit and rep grip with officially licensed Bison apparel from shopobubison.com. Shopobubison.com is the official online store of OBU Athletics and the only place online to buy OBU apparel, accessories, gifts, and more with purchases benefiting OBU Athletics. Southern Nazarene with nine and a half to go at Northwestern lead to the Rangers, 43 to 31. Southeastern picking up full quarter, pretty close. They're gonna have to do something here to down seven points with 2.56 to go. Trey Green, Jaquan Sims in the backcourt, Stoddart, Brantley Thompson, Wilcox, the other three out there on the floor, Southeastern and have to be aggressive now with 2.46 to play. Jaquan Sims guarded by Daworski throws up a shot, and that was not a good one at all. Had very little chance to go down. Manic with a rebound of Johnson up ahead. It's stripped off of him out of bounds by Trey Green. Green hustled his tail down the floor and saves the basket, and in doing so, forces a turnover. Exactly right, Todd. If Trey Green does not hustle to catch up to Bobby Johnson, he has an uncontested layup. He distracted that shot. Green bounces it inbounds, and a foul. And that is on Adam Daworski. That's going to be his second. Savage Storm are going to have to foul pretty quick now with 2.39 to play. That's only their fifth team foul in the second half. Green bounces it in underneath the southeastern basket to Brantley Thompson. He's trapped in the backcourt, lobs it near midcourt for Green. Back to Brantley. They beat the 10-second count. Thompson lobs it to start at right side. Now to Green. They pull it back to Brantley. 17 to shoot and 2.24 to go. Thompson with it on the left wing side, hands it off to Hicklin. Back to Brantley. Jump passes, quarter right. Stoddard will put up a three, got it. That may have just about done it. Bison lead it by 10 now, 62-52 with 2.03 to play. Stoddard attempted a three-pointer from the left wing. Two trips earlier was down. You said it would carry a lot of weight. That one does. A steal. Johnson had it taken away by Sims. Layup is good. It's a 12-point game with 1.57 to play. Timeout. Kelly Green of the Savage Storm. 64-52, Bison in the blink of an eye. A huge three by Stoddard, a steal and a bucket. And OBU looks like they're going to win their seventh in a row. And all in crunch time. Big three-pointer, big shot on the baseline by Brantley Thompson. Jaquan Sims picks the pocket, goes coast to coast, and the Bison up by a dozen. Jaquan Sims, man, I'm happy for this guy. Huge game today, and you know what? He's never pouted. He's never taken a playoff. He's never not worked hard at the other end because his shot is not falling. This guy was a born scorer. He's just going through one of those periods of time, but he's getting well today. Yeah, until tonight, he hit those first two shots. And, and we always talk about, even when Jaquan is cold, what he does for the Bison, the gives and goes, the picks, the pick in the pockets. Even they got a rebound here about three trips up the floor that Harrison Stoddard tipped out among the big trees. Jaquan Sims with that natural reflex ability just stuck his hand up and pulled that down. Jaquan Sims has 17 points. 
Harrison Stoddard 15, Brantley Thompson 13. Leading scorer of the ball game, Bobby Johnson to the floor with 19 for the Savage Store. 154 to play. Dworski with his right hand to the air comes across midcourt. OBU has gone to his own. Johnson gets a bounce pass. Now to Quinnette, wing right. Out high to Dworski. To Vadim for three, no good. And Wilcox yanks the rebound down and then gathers it himself. Wilcox jumped a little bit early. Usually he times his jump perfectly, but he's so athletic he catches the ball on the way down. Johnson a foul against Sims into the front court. On Bobby Johnson, that's going to be his second personal foul. East Central has beaten Southwestern 73-70. So Southwestern will drop another game behind OBU in the Western Division standings if OBU could finish off the Savage Storm. It was a game and a half advantage for the Bison in first place. East Central, though, will stay at least on pace for third of the current standings. They'll go to six and five of the victory. Trey Green to inbound to Jaquan Sims. Loops a pass against Brantley Thompson to Stoddart for three. Bang! Ball game! OBU leads it 67 to 52 with 115 to play. Perfect skip pass to Harrison Stoddard to the right wing. Catches it up above his head. Doesn't bring it down. Up. Three-pointer. Johnson throws it away again. Intercepted by Sims. One-on-one -on -one with Cox. Goes back door. Flips it up. Missed it. Tip by Brantley Thompson offline. They play volleyball with the paint. Sims has it to Stoddard for three. A Kennedy got it. This time from wing left. Holy Toledo. The second all-time leading scorer in program history at Edmund North. Putting this one away. Oh, Stoddard just in rhythm, just dropping that in. Speaking of in rhythm and dropping one in, Bobby Johnson with his 6-3 as he knocks that one down wing left. It's too little too late, though, with 38 seconds to play. OBU leading by 15. They briefly led by 18, their biggest spread of the contest. Trey Green and Jaquan Sims out high, exchanging passes. Shot clock is down to 12. Now it's go time for Brantley Thompson and company. Thompson with it to Sims. Back to Brantley. Penetrates the zone. Dashes down low for Wilcox. He fumbled it. Gets it back. Goes up. Shot was partially blocked by Clement. Rebound tipped. Markeith Williams has it. Now to Taylor Cox. Nigel was in the paint for an eternity. <laughs> Cox spins. Pulls it back out. Clement to Taylor. Five seconds to play. Cox goes right to the goal and lays it in. So the junior from Durant with his first bucket. OBU will inbound and the final seconds will melt away. OBU has won seven straight. They win it by 13, 70 to 57. Oklahoma Baptist now eight and two at Great American Conference play, eight and three overall. 70 to 57 the final score. With one more game coming up in 12 days down in Durant. On February the 18th, that's a Thursday night, 5.30 and 7.30. You know, Scott, when they announced you had to play each team four times, I really thought 11-9, 12-8 might win it because I didn't think there was going to be very many three ones. This was certainly not a team I thought OBU would take three of. Especially with Kellen Manick back. Uh, but you gave it up to the Bison. They are rising to the occasion. This isn't – there are no gimmies, obviously, in this side of the conference, but these games are tight. It's deadlocked 28-28 at intermission, and then when you get real close with the four-minute mark, we talk about crunch time. The Bison are rising to the occasion, making more plays than their opponents. Second half brought to you by OBU alumnus Noble McIntyre and his team of dedicated and effective personal injury attorneys at McIntyre Law. Our final today, Oklahoma Baptist 70, Southeastern Oklahoma State 57. The postgame show is coming up next to the Bison Radio Network. The OBU Athletic Department would like to thank the following sponsors for their support of Bison Basketball. Bank First, Billy Boy Barbecue, Boomerang Diners, Chick-fil-A Shawnee, the Citizen Potawatomi Nation, the Dennis Morris State Farm Insurance Agency, Eric's Pharmacy, First National Bank and Trust, First United Bank, Hampton Inn Shawnee, Hudeberg Auto Group, Emanuel Baptist Church, Lowe's, McIntyre Law, Sin Relief, the OBU Graduate College, PNK Equipment, Pine Cliff Printers, Qdoba, Rob Smokehouse, Shawnee Mills, Shawnee Pit Stop, Sherwin Williams, South Central Industries, SSM Health, St. Anthony Hospital Shawnee, TAC Designs, Tinker Federal Credit Union, 
The Lunchbox, The UPS Store, Village Tours and Travel, Vision Bank, Walls, and Whataburger. Global McIntyre of McIntyre Law. We have over 100 years of experience fighting for Oklahomans injured in automobile or semi-trucking accidents. Distracted driving is an epidemic. According to government studies, there are 1.6 million accidents caused each year by distracted drivers using cell phones. One in four of all crashes now involve texting and driving. If you have been injured and want to learn more about your rights, call us right now. The consultation is free. We love what we do and we're good at it. We are trial lawyers. Call McIntyre Law today. That's the way it was. No points. One thousand point score at OBU. He had thirteen, and Jaquan Sims today looked like himself offensively. Seventeen points, six of eleven shooting, three of six from three, and we have Quan down to the floor. Jaquan Sims back in rhythm, buddy. Good job thank hitting you, those. You. you bet hitting those first two shots. I know you've been a little bit cool on the outside before, but it seemed like you got everything going tonight. Uh, yes, it was a lot of fun. So tonight was our first time having our whole team back since Hicks was out with quarantine. We had Trace injured, so it was a lot of fun having the whole team out there. The last couple games, I struggled offensively, so I was trying to find ways where I can pick up my team without scoring the ball. So I tried to find my teammates as much as I can. They was knocking down a lot of shots, and I was knocking down a lot of my shots tonight. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, you did. Jaquan Sims tonight, 6 of 11 from the field, 3 for 6 from downtown. You also had 7 assists. And tell me, Jaquan, about that big steal in crunch time when you picked the pocket of a Southeastern player late to almost seal the game. Um, well, yeah, coach wanted us to be aggressive. We didn't deny, so I seen he was about to hand it off, so I denied my guy the ball. So when he seen I was denying him the ball, he tried to retreat, and I just went for it, and I stole it and went down and the other end and laid it up. How's it playing with these teammates? You, you have Brantley Thompson gets 1,000 points. Harris has stoddered 1,000 points. You yourself, along with Limestone College here, you're 1,000 points. Those are big milestones. You're playing with some pretty good players on this team. Yes, sir. It's a lot of fun seeing everybody accomplish all these accolades. I'm really proud of Harrison and Brantley. That is well-deserved. They go hard every day, and it shows on the court, night in and night out, and I'm proud of them. You mentioned Jerry Sicklin. It didn't look like Jerry Sicklin has lost a step. He had to be working on his skills somewhere else. That's what we all thought when he came to practice. He was coming in, hitting big shots. Hicks, he stayed in the gym, and... We, we met, really missed him offensively, especially. He made a lot of big shots tonight. Well, great game tonight, Jaquan. Congratulations. Right, thank you so much. Jaquan Sims, Fisty with us here for the Noble Complex. His team, the Bison, win their seventh in a row and pick up a game on second place Southwestern of the league standings 70 to 57. We'll get to the individual numbers in just a moment. Team-wise, Southeastern shoots 40%, 22 of 55, 11 of 26 for 42% from three. Oklahoma Baptist, 47% from the floor, 27 of 58. Bison were 45% from beyond the arc, 14 of 31. And again, this game I thought was really well officiated. Only five foul shots, four of five between the two combined at the line. Southeastern was two of two. Oklahoma Baptist was two of three. On the rebound, end OBU plus five. The offensive glass, the Bison plus two, five to three. On the floor, coach winning yet another big game in crunch time around four minute mark. It's really close, but every game it seems like your players are rising up and making more plays than the opponent. Well, to say I was proud of our team would be an understatement. I thought Southeastern, I mean, I thought you could really tell not only the impact that Kellen Manick has when he's with their team, but Coach Green, I mean, he had us confused. They had us spinning in that first half. Our guys were, you know, we came out with that big run to start, but then they hit us with like a 16 to two run. But our response in the second half and uh, called them up as uh, my friend Kevin DeShazio would say. Um, he had one rebound at half. I, don't, I haven't seen the stats, but I thought Nigel's mindset in that second half really led us and then Brantley 
just kept battling, kept playing. And then Jaquan, thought Jaquan was our MVP today. But I thought our team and our program collectively, I just thought that was a game. We met our match today. We were very fortunate. The score is not any indication on how fiercely competitive that game was. But I'm, I'm so relieved and thankful and really, really proud of our players. Yeah, Harrison Stoddard hitting some big three-pointers at the end, slamming the door on Southeastern. You mentioned Jaquan. He did so great. He shot 6 of 11 tonight, 3 for 6 from downtown, but he also had 7 assists and that huge steal. Even when he's off maybe from outside, he's doing so much for your team. Jaquan is a wonderful young man. He's been a little bit uh, underwhelming as far as his own personal um, ambition, and his per but he's going to come out of it. I keep telling him and our team and those that follow our team has, has a good attitude. He's been in the gym all week. We got him some new sneakers. Um, he was ready to go tonight. Um, that was a big-time performance from Jaquan. It was so awesome. I, I tweeted this out or, or put it on Facebook, but – for our athletic department to do all that they did today, we had popcorn in the gym, we had families. Uh, Isaac and Meredith got to be here. Um, Ben's family got to be here. Coach Davis and Coach Rogers' family and then our players' families got to be here. And those that weren't here are gonna get to come to some other games. I couldn't be any more happy that they got to be here and experience such a great game. Um, they've missed being with their children. Um, we've missed being with our families. And so for Robert, uh, Coach Davenport, um, in the athletic department and the GAC to allow um, us to have people in the stands. It gave us a big lift today. Coach, big win at Northwestern Thursday night. Another huge win against Southeastern here. Car got some momentum carrying into Bethany, a tough place to play. Well, whatever momentum you have or don't have going into Bethany, they sure can't stop it um, with the kind of coaches and players that they have. We need to, before we worry about snoo, we need to get a pizza or some wings. Um, I have some leftover ribs from Charleston's that I cannot wait. I only ate three or four of them before the game. I got about five of those ribs waiting on me tonight. Um, and so I'm going to get those down and hang out with Isaac and Meredith before I worry about snoo. But there's no question we have momentum, seven straight. Um, but we're going to need every ounce of effort and energy to give ourselves a chance on Monday. Congratulations, Coach Aker. Great win. Outstanding performance by your team. We'll see you Monday. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Jason Aker visiting with us from the floor of the Noble Complex. His team wins their seventh in a row, 70 to 57. Gave you the field goal percentage numbers tonight. OBU plus five of the glass, 35-30. Turnovers just eight for Southeastern. How about this? Only six for the Bison. Points off turnovers 18 to nine in favor of OBU. Assists today, 12 on 22 made field goals for the Savage Storm, 19 on 27 made baskets. The Bison had three steals, a couple of those coming very, very late that helped seal the deal. Two steals for Southeastern of the ballgame as well. OBU had a block party today at the expense of Southeastern. Five block shots, three of those for Harrison Stoddard. He now has moved closer to third all-time of the career block list at uh, Oklahoma, or in the Great American Conference. Jaquan Sims had a block. Nigel Wilcox had one as well. Only one block. That was Kellen Mannick's uh, block in uh, the game for Southeastern. Individually, we'll take a look at those numbers as we continue with our post-game show. OBU now atop the Western Division of the Great American Conference, 8-2, and two, as they win today by 13 over Southeastern, 70-56, a 7 on the Bison Radio Network.